In this video, let's look at custom animation. Custom animation allows the presentation designer to control the way in which items appear on the slide. Let me show you. We click on California. We move to the California slide. And the items in the slide appear in an animated or dynamic way when I click the spacebar. Watch now. The flag disappears and the map appears. Finally, I've added interactivity when I click the state flower. Pretty amazing. And when I click this, back to the home slide. So let's talk about how to achieve these effects. As you can see, I have on the screen a slide very like the animated California slide I showed you, but as yet no animation has been set up on this slide. So we'll step through that together so you can learn how to do it. I've opened the custom animation task pane, but as you can see, as yet it's empty. So I'm going to begin by selecting the title and click Add in the custom animation frame. On the Entrance tab of the Custom Animation dialog box, there are many, 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 many effects. I'm just going to leave it at the basic up here, and I'm going to click OK. Under the Effects, I'm going to choose With Previous. That means the title will appear immediately. Now, if I come down and say play, we see the title appears. It's not very clear yet. Now I'm going to animate the line. If I could just get it to select. Here we go. And I'm going to add. And I'm going to say, um, let me see. I'll wipe it in, but slowly and click OK and I'll play it and there it appears slowly after the title and I'm going to say after the previous because I don't want to have to click to have that line show up so let's play that again excellent Now we'll, we'll select the state capital and the actual capital itself, the heading and the capital. I'll click Add and I'll choose Dissolve In. And I'm going to choose Medium for the speed and click OK. Again, I'll play that. And that's how that will appear. Clicking on it, I have on click for the state capital, but for Salem I have with previous. And that's there because I selected them together. Now, <clears throat> with the state capital, I want to bring in the flag. So I'm going to choose add. And I did that dramatic um, spiral in for the California page. There you go and fast is good. I'm just going to move it up. Well, let me click OK. I'm going to move it up to where I want it to spiral in to. And I'm going to spiral it in with previous. That is, with the state, capital, and Salem, it will all come in together. So let's play. Good. Now we have, want to bring in the governor, at John Kitzhaber. We'll add, choose diagonal squares. Again, not, I want, I'll bring it in fast, but not, very fast tends to go too fast. And play. Good. And just coming down and making sure, yes, governor is on click. 
and John Kitzhaber is with Previous Perfect. Now we're going to bring in the size. Add, dissolve in, medium, OK. So we have the animation for the size added. Now we want to remove the flag graphic and add the map graphic. So I'm going to click on the map again, the flag, I'm sorry, again. Again I'm going to choose add, but this time I'm going to choose an exit animation. And I'm just going to have it disappear and click OK and coming down to check. I want it to disappear with the size appearing, so I'm going to change on click to with previous. Alright, now we're going to select the map, click add, and we're going to spiral the map in and click OK. And again, scrolling down, I don't want that on click. I want that to happen with the previous animation. And I'm just going to position the map in its ending. And let's play. Good. So now if I start with the state capital and play from there, That's right. Just checking them all out. That came in there. Now comes in the governor and John Kitzhaber and the size and the side, the area. And now the map should disappear, and it does, and the state map comes in. Excellent. Now we're going to animate in the population of figure, add, back on the entrance, we'll fly that in at medium speed and click OK. Good. So let's look at the slideshow effect for this slide. If I choose the slideshow button up here, I'll go to the first slide. I want to see this slide, so I'm going to choose this slideshow. And here we have Oregon with the line coming in right along. Spacebar, in comes the state and the flag. Spacebar, in comes the governor. Spacebar, the flag disappears, the map appears, and the population comes in. So our animations are done. Now we have left to do the interaction. So I'm going to click on the Oregon State Flower. I'm going to choose animation. I'm going to choose play sound and browse. And here we have Oregon My Oregon. And click OK. And then I'm going to choose this add an interaction and say I want to go to the first slide with that and click OK. Once more, look at the slideshow and we'll play the state song. And now we'll go back to the first slide and there we have it. So we've animated the Oregon slide, we've added the custom animations for the elements on the slide and we've added the state song to the flower and the go back to the first slide animate interaction to this little star button. A couple of other things to mention, if you right click, if you click any one interaction, any one animation on the task pane, if you right click you can remove it you can also move to effect options which allows you to play a sound to control the timing and to animate the text you can also remove the option 
You can change the whole effect by choosing a different one. You can also change the order in which these elements of the slide appear. So if it plays out of order, you can just use these arrows to move them up and down. It takes some practice, but if you play it little by little, use the slideshow, use the up and down, and pay close attention to the on-click with previous or after previous options, you'll find, if you're methodical, it goes smoothly.